it. No gunshots, but they get in. Hi friends, I am Gautam and I am from the team Chennai Goods and we are here to explain you about the crystal structure. First, let's start from the basic. The figure which you see in that screen is a simple cubic crystal structure. For time to understand that, first consider four spherical structures which is arranged in a squarely manner and consider another four structures which is arranged slightly above parallel to it in the same manner and if you arrange them, you will get a simple cubic crystal structure exactly shown in that figure. The most important feature of this thing is that the angle of incidence between the center point and the line of action is 90 degree. That is alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is 90 degree. And we have many complicated structures also and my friends will be explaining you about many complicated structures. Thank you. So this is a body centered cubic unit cell. It has atoms at every corner of the cube and one atom at the center of the cube. It has net two atoms and its coordination number is eight because each atom in the cube touches eight different atoms. Its packing fraction is 68% and the length of its body diagonal is four times the length of the radius of each atom. This type of pattern is found in lithium, sodium and potassium. Hi, I'm Hamza from Chennai Gulls and I'm going to be explaining face centered cubic unit cell. As you can see, the face centered cubic unit cell has atoms on all of its corners and in addition to that it has atoms on all of its faces. In a face centered arrangement, the number of atoms per unit cell is 4. Also, the coordination number of each atom is 12. That means a single atom is connected to 12 other atoms directly. Uh, the packing fraction of this arrangement is 0.74 and the equation for the radius of the atom and the uh, size of the cube or the unit cell is r is equal to a by 2 root 2 so uh, this arrangement is also called as uh, cubic tetrahedral because it resembles a tetrahedral structure some of the atoms which some of the elements which crystallize uh, in this arrangement are gold copper and aluminium thanks my name is anurag and i am going to speak on hexagonal type bravis lattices the shape of such a bravis lattice is represents a uniform hexagonal prism. It has six atoms each on its corner, one at the face center and three in the middle, making 15 atoms in a structure and six atoms per unit cell. Two sides A and B are equal, C being unequal. The angles alpha, beta and gamma are in the order 90 degree, 90 degree and 120 degree each. The coordination number is 12. Hello friends, myself Rajat Valiyan and this is a simple monoclinic cube. You can see that spheres at the corner of cube represents the atom of the cube. The structure of the cube is made in a such a way that A, B and C each side never be equal and the angle alpha and gamma always equal to 90 degree and the beta angle never equal to the 120 degree. My name is Rupesh Kumar Shukla, 15 BME 123. Today I will be discussing about base centered monoclinic. This is also called as end center monoclinic. In base center monoclinic, there are points situated at each of the corners of the unit cell. And additionally, there are two points situated opposite to each other on the parallel face. There are total number of 10 atoms in an unit cell. But effectively, there are only two atoms in an unit cell. Here the unit cell vector A is not equal to B and not equal to C. And the axial angle that is alpha, beta and gamma now alpha here is equal to gamma equal to 90 degree but it is not equal to beta in crystallography orthorhombic crystal system is one of the seven types of crystal system orthorhombic crystal system is divided into four crystal systems they are simple end centered face centered and body centered i am going to tell you about simple orthorhombic crystal system the simple orthorhombic crystal system is a basic cubic lattice that is stretched or compressed along the x, y, z axis and the lattice portions A, B, C of the simple orthorhombic crystal system is all are different. The angle between the x and y and z axis is 90 degrees. In simple orthorhombic system, the atoms occupy the 8 corners of the lattice. The examples of the Simple orthorhombic crystal system are barium sulfate and potassium nitrate. Hello there, I am Neil. May we speak about the topic body centered orthorhombic crystal lattice. 
Now basically the number of atoms present per unit cell in this particular lattice are 2 with a coordination number of 8 and a packing fraction of 68%. Now the angles namely alpha, beta and gamma present in this particular lattice all measure up to 90 degrees while the sides namely A, B and C all are unequal in magnitude. Hi, this is 15 BME 1153 talking about the base centered orthorhombic lattices. Base centered orthorhombic lattice, like all other lattices, has lattice points at the eight corners of the unit cell, plus two additional points at the centers of the two parallel sides of the unit cell. It has unit cell vectors where A is equal to B is equal to C and the interaxial angles where alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma, which is equal to 90 degrees. Thank you. This is Tushar Ganguly and I am here to discuss with you all about the face centered orthorhombic crystal system. So let's imagine a cubic, simple cubic system and elongate it from all the sides by different factors. Right? So what we get is a rectangular prism with rectangular base. As you can see over here, it, uh, it is quite similar to that where all the, uh, all the four corners are filled with atoms. But a face center face center orthorhombic crystal system has six more uh, six more atoms one on each base one on each plane right so this uh, this makes uh, this makes it quite of a rectangular uh, rectangular cubic system and uh, epsonite and olivine are good quite good examples of it thank you hello everyone myself pranay singh my roll number is 15 bme 1068 and I am going to tell you about simple rhombohedral structure. In a simple rhombohedral structure, as you can see it, all sides are same and all angles are same. But the angles are not equal to 90 degree. In the figure, you can see that it looks like the shape looks like a cube, but a cube on which we have applied a force so that it gets tilted and the angle is not equal to 90 degree. The uh, examples are calcite and cinnabar. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Shubham Malik, representing my groups Chennai Goods. I will tell you all about simple tattoo crystal lattice. This type of lattice from stretching a cubic lattice along one of its lattice vector so that the cube becomes a rectangular prism with a square base A and P and height C. These three sides A is equal to B but not equal to C are inclined at equal angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 and one one eighth part of an atom which are presenting along eight, eight corner constitutes thank you friends hi again i'm hamza and now this time i'm going to be talking about body center tetragonal arrangement in this arrangement there are eight atoms on the edges and there's one atom in the center in this uh, the angles are, are all 90 and the sides a, is a, B and C are related as A is equal to B but not equal to C. Uh, an example of this crystal structure is uh, martensite which is a form of steel. Thanks. My name is Arif Billah, registration number 15BME1020 and I am from the team Chennai Ghouls. I am going to say something about triclinic lattices. The triclinic lattice is the least symmetric of the 14 three-dimensional revised lattices. It has itself the minimum symmetry all lattices have, points of inversion at each lattice point and at seven more points for each lattice point, at the midpoints of the edges and the faces and at the center points. It is the only lattice type that itself has no mirror planes. As you can see in the picture, all the edges A, B, C are unequal. That is A not equals to B not equals to C and even you can see at the figure the angles alpha, beta, gamma what we say normally are not equal. Thank you. Yeah.